In this ImageQuantil version 10 tutorial video, we'll be looking at background subtraction for gels and western blots. Specifically, we will be comparing and contrasting the different background subtraction options, as well as showing how background subtraction can affect the quantitation of the image. In this image, we've already defined our lanes and we are at the background subtraction step. We can see the image that we're analyzing with the defined lanes, as well as intensity profiles for any selected lane. For example, in this case, we're looking at lane 10. To the right, we have a pull-down menu to choose which background subtraction method we would like to use. And we also have this pull-down menu if we are analyzing a multiplex image, you could choose which channels that you'd like to apply the background subtraction to. Below this, we have a checkbox for displaying our background, which we will utilize to see what different background subtraction methods are doing to our image. The first background subtraction method we're going to look at is Image Rectangle. Image Rectangle allows us to define an area somewhere in our image where the average pixel intensity in this box will be taken away from every pixel in the image. We call this a global subtraction because the same background amount is being taken away from every pixel on the image. The background taken away is defined as a shaded area at the bottom of our intensity profile. One of the downsides to image rectangles is that it's highly dependent on both the position and the size of this box that's being created. So for example, if we have a smaller box at the top of our image, we're going to get a different background taken away than if we have that same size box at the bottom of our image. This can have an effect on relative pixel intensities if you have multiple people analyzing the exact same image. The next background subtraction method we're going to look at is constant value, which can be treated both as a global background subtraction as before, or also as a localized background subtraction for each individual lane. To use it as a global subtraction, simply move along the intensity profile until you find a background level that you'd like to take away from every pixel on the image. Simply click apply, and it will utilize that background subtraction for every pixel on the image. To treat it as a localized background subtraction for each individual lane, you can simply choose Profile Minimum, which we use the lowest pixel intensity within that individual lane, and apply that. So every lane is going to have its own individual background subtraction level. The next background subtraction method we're going to look at is Rubber Band, which provides us a localized background for each individual band within each lane. Rubber Band works by taking the intensity at the top of our lane and at the bottom and stretching a rubber band across. If there are any points that are lower in between there, it will contour around those. Rubber band background is most beneficial when you're looking at Kumasi gels that can have a variable background between the top and the bottom of the lane. This allows us to contour around those points and give us a localized background for each individual band. The final and most commonly used background subtraction method we're going to look at is rolling ball. You can picture rolling ball working by taking a ball and rolling across the bottom of our intensity profile. The size of that ball is going to determine how far it goes into each one of our peaks. So for example, a very small ball is going to go much further into each one of those peaks. You can picture this as not a very effective background subtraction because we have all this area underneath the curve that is not being quantitated. In this case, we want to choose a fairly large ball that's going to contour to our background but not go within each one of those peaks. While this is a localized background that contours to the background within each one of our lanes, we are using the same radius to subtract within each one of our lanes within the gel. This is advantageous because we have one radius that we're using for our background subtraction. That means that our background subtraction can be replicated between different users that are quantitating the exact same image.